Hey Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. Keep in mind, this is a general love weekend reading and some messages may or may not be for you. Take what fits, leave the rest. This is a channel for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos, so let's get into this. Before we get started, don't forget, become a member of my channel and you can pop in my live streams on Sundays to get a free mini reading. Okay, you can ask as many questions as you like. I'll try to get to everybody. All right, Virgo, so this is the weekend reading for March 24th through the 26th. Let's see what messages you have. Okay, some of you have a reconciliation situation happening over the weekend. Someone from your past, Virgo, is reaching out over the weekend. Uh, coming back into your life. Okay, you also have finances and career, codependency. This might be a little bit of yesterday's reading as well. I feel like those two cards were there. Um, so there's definitely someone who may be very dependent on you financially as well or need you. Be careful. They could be coming in trying to get some money out of you, Virgo. So keep your eyes peeled if that's someone from your past that you might be like, uh. okay, for some of you, this is someone who is coming back to work for you. Not on the love front, but on the finances and career front. Um, maybe somebody's a counselor or a therapist, deals with codependency issues or addictions or something like that. Um, or there is like a return to a job. Somebody might be returning to a former employer. So there's definitely a return to something over this weekend. Okay, you also have engagement. So your love life extending to a higher level of commitment over this weekend. And what else, what else, what else? Oh, okay, flirt. A lot of flirtatious energy also happening over this weekend too. Okay, all right, Virgo. One more. And you've got love yourself first. That's my most favorite card in this deck. I'm not even kidding. I love this card. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. All right, Virgo. So it looks like you got quite a couple, quite a few things happening here over the weekend. Um, some of you are overcoming some codependency issues as well. Maybe you're, maybe you joined a codependency group, or you are taking a look at like your own addictions in your life or stuff like that, and trying to learn how to love yourself. Or it could be another person as well. And um, I don't know, flirtatious energy could possibly leave to lead to something more over this weekend if you meet someone or if you're currently connecting with someone. All right, let's take a look and see what other messages there are here for you over this weekend. Okay. All right. So you're definitely getting, for some of you, there's an apology coming in, but there's also some sweet texts or messages or phone calls coming in. That's very flirtatious energy. It's nothing serious. It could be an invite as well, um, or someone thinking about um, inviting you somewhere. Somebody might send you a selfie as well. Look, this kind of feels like, you know, someone looks at themselves in their phone camera. It's like, oh, I look like a fish. <laughs> oh. I look like a mackerel, <laughs> you know, when the person actually is very nice looking, but they, I, I just get a sense of someone, at, it could be you, it could be the other person, it's just like you don't like what you see in the camera, you want to send a picture to someone or someone wants to send a picture to you uh, of a, like a facial picture and it's like, ah, no, I'm not going to send that, no, 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 someone's, um, they might, somebody might send it, but maybe take quite a few before sending it. I don't know. It's just like, oh, that's a bad picture. Wow, two pages in a row, Virgo. Some of you are spending the weekend with your kids. You might have a water sign and a fire sign mixed in there somewhere. Um, but wow, there's a lot of enthusiasm and plans being made and um, like active energy. So you could be like you know, making plans over this weekend, flirting with someone or others flirting with you and making plans with you or um, some invites with friends as well to do something fun and exciting and creative as well. Okay. Um, and I also feel like somebody's really smitten with you, Virgo, and is going to be reaching out over this weekend. Okay, let's see. All right, I just saw this. I'll put it back. Okay, King of Cups. So this could be related to yesterday's reading. Go back and listen to yesterday's reading. Um, King of Cups showing up here. Again, this person could be showing up 
reaching out. You could be reconciling with them or there's some type of connection, flirtatious, um, somebody apologizing or saying, you know, oh, you know, I'm really super excited to talk to you. Let's see if we can't make something work. Um, again, King of Cups always comes in as water energy, but this could be any sign. Uh, they're just in a very watery, emotional, deep feeling energy, okay? Um, nurturing, supportive, kind, patient, tolerant, empathetic, that kind of energy, okay? So the King of Cups is showing up over the weekend. And um, for some of you, that also could be your energy where you are also like up in your feels over this weekend. Let's see. We don't have any moon stuff going on, so... I'm not sure where the planets are right now. I have not checked, <laughs> but there is um, some emotional uh, feelings, some feelings coming up over the weekend. Some of you could be hormonal too, but you're going to be feeling some feels. Somebody is, that's for sure. All right, let me see what else is coming up for you. Tell me about this King of Cups. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. That's interesting. Um, Hmm, okay, somebody is definitely going to be reaching out, asking for a loan. They're having some financial struggles, can't pay a few bills. Um, um, somebody's got foreclosure, they have family conflicts, or feeling very lonely at this time. So there's loneliness with this King of Cups. Um, or they're struggling. Um, they might ask you for some help paying a bill of some sort um, and they might also just be missing you or feeling lonely and um, you also have somebody here who's um, not doing too well in their career so if they work in banking or real estate or something like that there's a struggle with that right now um, or they've they're having a problem with their bank as well could be you like I said just reverse it if it resonates for you personally then it's for you but it could also be another person um, and then we also have uh, this king of cups um, somebody is um, leaving their family situation I'm hearing okay so um, yeah somebody's leaving a family situation um, there's a lifestyle change happening here over this weekend. Someone's making a decision. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, seven of Cups in the reverse. Um, somebody's coming in with a commitment. Definitely getting clarity. No more fantasies. Um, they have a restored sense um, back down to reality. And I feel like there's going to be communication. This person's going to be like, ha has a lot to say. Like I said, we only have one court card, and it's the King of Cups. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but it could also be any sign who's coming in with this emotional energy, okay? Um, rushing toward you, uh, wanting to, you know, uh, ready to commit, ready to make something happen, okay? All right. Now, these could be related, but I don't really, um, I don't know how to explain that. Uh, I'm just calling out the messages. Whatever I'm feeling, I'm intuiting at this time. That's the energy I'm getting. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. Six of Cups in the reverse. So Virgo, there is someone here who is stuck on you. Stuck in the past. You know what? Had it really bad for you. That reading came out. Uh, a couple days ago not the, the last if you listen to any of the readings this week it seems like they're all kind of playing out this way and um yeah that six of cups energy in the reverse someone is like very naive they, they're they have unrealistic expectations somebody here is like really believing that you love them and you want to be with them okay it, it is what it is, okay? This is all connected to this reconciliation thing. And, um, but this person is stuck on you. And, like, they want to um, come in and make some kind of change. They're having a lifestyle change. They want to change their life for you or hope that you will, you know, make changes for them. Yeah, okay. I know a lot of you are just like, I'm not having the reconciliation thing, but it is what it is, okay? Okay. So, <laughs> I can't believe my cards coming out reversed. They're all in the upright. So, the Eight of Wands reversed again. And now we have someone who is um, really frustrated. Um, there's delays. They can't get to you. They're stuck on you. For some reason, they can't get to you. They can't um, somehow 
reach you and it's like I don't I don't know what's going on here Virgo this person is unable there's a delay in being able to contact you um, or talk to you okay but they want to talk to you and um, because I feel like this person is like hitting a brick wall that that's really what I feel like they they were shooting their shot before and you were taking the hits and now you've got some kind of shield up of some sort i guess and they're they they they're they don't they can't shoot their shot and they're like stuck like they've hit a brick wall and i feel like that brick wall has a lot to do with this person like getting grounded in reality like they know they need to make changes in order to you know uh, have some kind of reconciliation with you okay this person is just i just feel like the Ten of Pentacles reversed reduces back to the Nine of Pentacles. And um, I just feel like this person is really either envious of you. They're having financial setbacks. Um, this person, uh, a workaholic, let work get in the way of a relationship. Jealousy. Okay. So we're just going to leave that message there. Now, others for others of you... I feel like you get clarity about where you want to go. Um, some of you want to take a trip and you want to go back to an old place that you've been to before. You haven't been able to get back there in quite some time. And I feel like some of you actually may want to move there to relocate back to this place you've been dreaming of. Okay. That I feel like is connected to your past. But it's going to take a while for you to be able to get there there's a lot of delays you got a lot of stuff that you have to sort out as well maybe there's some financial issues that you have to sort out or you need to find a new job or something like that so i kind of feel like over the weekend if that's something that's resonating for you i feel like you'll spend your weekend trying to figure i don't know put all your ducks in a row is what i'm hearing and try to figure out if you want to go back somewhere um, I don't know that you're not happy where you are. You you might not be, but um, it could be also like something to do with a job offer or a career change. Okay, it could be back to your childhood home or just a place that where you were younger, where you felt like that was the best place for you to be. Okay. Um, okay. So you also have some socializing over the weekend as well. There could be um, offers or invitations or you have some friends that are going out over the weekend or there's an event of some sort. This could be a little bit of a happy hour thing, but um, there's like some type of friendship celebration of some sort happening where there's like more than three people coming together and, you know, it could be anything, but it's a get together over the weekend. Yeah, it's a friend's get together for sure. Okay, and you may actually meet someone or be introduced to someone if you attend some kind of get together over this weekend. Okay, um, if that's something you're looking for, if you're completely single and there isn't anyone of your life, I do feel like you'll connect with someone. Like you'll hang out with, you'll go somewhere with a friends, and then um, I don't know, spark its mead, Virgo. <clears throat> and a spark can get made any time um, for that spark to turn into um, a bonfire. Both people have to tend to it. So um, if that's not something you're looking for, you could be getting together with friends and um, someone extra special as well over this weekend. And you may have a date as well. Okay, let me see. What else is going on here? Oh, Okay, you've got the Hierophant. Somebody's going to church. Um, let's see. Contracts. I'm hearing some contracts needing to be signed or a contract of some sort needing to be signed over this weekend. Okay. Ooh. You've got the High Priestess. Um, hmm. Okay, this feels like a warning. Be careful of something that you sign over this weekend. Make sure you read the hidden fine print or the hidden clauses of something that you sign um before uh, or before you sign it like virgo get your magnifying glass and sit down over the weekend and fine tooth comb some type of contract or paper or negotiation over this weekend because i feel like you're going to find some little hidden loopholes in something here hmm. um also trust your intuition about whether or not you want to commit to something i'm hearing okay 
trust your gut on something. Okay, you've also got the Five of Cups. All right. There's a little bit of melancholy happening over this weekend. Uh, some of you are sad because you have to work this weekend and you may not be able to do something. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Some of you might not be able to connect with some friends or do something or meet up on a date with someone or, or someone special, I should say, um, because you have to work. Um, they're just giving me labor. Um, and others, you might just be like exhausted from working all week. And you might just say, you know, I'm sorry. To, I regret to inform you or I'm sorry, but I am just physically exhausted. Um, and for some of you, you might just feel kind of sad about something or maybe there's a little bit of grief over the weekend and you just kind of want to get under your covers and turn off the lights and put on a movie and just sink into your bed and just really not you just might want rest and to take care of self soul emotions as well as physical okay so some some of you you know if the option is there I feel like you might choose to do that and others of you might just, um, I do kind of feel like someone's going to, though, reach out and say, no, 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 please, though, it, you'll feel better if you come out. I do feel like there's some persuasion, <laughs> a little bit of persuasion that someone might try to talk you out of staying home also. Okay. Um, let's see what else is going on here. I love the random messages for the weekend because they're just so much fun. All right. Huh. All right. Four of Pentacles. What's going on here? Oh, shoot. Holding on to everything you've got before the crash. What the heck? All right, Virgo. Um, listen, this is a, this is a um, financial message. Stop buying all that crypto, you know. Um, <laughs> stop spending so much on whatever you're doing. Um, you need to start saving, Virgo, because there is a crash coming. So, um, and hey, that goes for me too. Let me tell you something. Virgo, you need to start counting every penny, every dime, every nickel, every quarter, whatever your currency exchanges in the world. You need to start counting your coins here and um, just hold back for a little bit, okay? Um, hold on, I'm getting another weird message. Okay. Uh, uh, hmm. They were trying to give me a date, but, you know, um, start budgeting or saving now, or at least in April. Really get on that in April. I'm hearing because it's going to be two years of financial difficulty. And, I, and I'm saying that on a global scale. So um, I don't know if that means like, well, I don't know if crypto is something that's bad to buy, but you might be overdoing it is all I'm saying. Um, I just get an overall sense that anything coin related, there's going to be some kind of fallout. And I really feel like, remember how like, I don't know if you guys remember how, like the last world shut down before um, the pandemic was... 9-11 was a big, sh well, it wasn't a world, but it was a big shutdown in the United States, at least. And no, but nobody globally could fly in. Remember, there was like a, I don't know if you guys remember, it was so many years ago, I'm sure you do. But there was like a, a bit of a shutdown. This is the energy I'm getting. Okay, but I feel like it's going to last like there's something, but it's not like I don't feel like there's any virus or anything like that coming. But there, there could be something coming. I hate talking about this stuff, but there could be something coming, whatever it is. Whatever it is, Virgo, um, I mean, I feel like you're fully protected for sure and you're going to be okay, but I feel like financially you really need to take, like, get on the ball, right? Because this is the close to the last weekend. It is basically the last weekend of March and April 1st is on, like, in, like the following weekend. So in April, yeah, I, it's just a message. Just start, you know, look at 
counting your P's and Q's, dotting your I's, crossing your T's, making sure that you have money saved. Yeah, there you go. Looking at your finances here and, and looking, should you invest? Should you not? Should you take your money out? Should you take a little out? Um, there's something, oh, this weekend is very important for that, to start thinking about that. Okay. I don't like predicting world events like this. I mean, it's not like it's unknown, but I just feel like they're telling me a couple of years. It's going to take a while to recover, but you need to make sure that whatever you do financially for yourself, your career, your your finances, your savings, whatever it is, I don't care if you are got rolled cash in between your mattresses, whatever you have to do, because I'm really getting a mattress vibe. Some of you might be like, well, what, what should we do? Should we put our money, stuff it in our mattress? Um, some of you, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so you feel safe and secure you know where your money is oh my god this reading is going a particular way <laughs> uh, sometimes spirit just wants to talk i mean there's definitely a crash coming definitely um it's time to start planning i i, I don't want to be like a doomsday reading here but i really feel like some of you i do know some of you are already on it you're like oh yeah we know we know we were already working on it and good for you all right let me see what else is going on over this weekend so you have the eight of cups huh okay somebody's gonna miss making a payment over the weekend either they're gonna forget or because they're away or because they owe, they'll give. So if somebody owes you money, Virgo, um, they're not going to be able to give you the full amount they're, they're, because they don't have it. They might go borrow it from someone, but they're going to give you, they're going to borrow it from someone and they're, maybe give you half or just give you a little bit of it. Um, or they're away for work and they'll, you know, throw you a little bit of money or they're traveling or they're away. They'll give you some money, um, but not the full amount. Okay. Um, I feel like that's more preparation for you to know. Okay. Let me just get a couple of more messages here. Oh, you've got the lovers. Whoa. So you definitely have a decision. Oops. I forgot. I got to cover that. I always forget. Okay. And you got the seven of swords reverse. So, wow. Um, hmm. Virgo, big, big love offer coming in this weekend as well. Like huge. Could be from a Gemini for some of you. Um, could be another Virgo. That seven of swords in the reverse. This is someone who's like making amends. Someone's coming in to apologize and offer their, offer, you know, that cup of love or make some kind of big proposal over this weekend. Remember what I said keep in mind this is a general reading some messages may or may not be for you okay so if it's not for you i saw someone in my chat the other day it says i've been listening to your readings for like a couple of months and they never come true well i think you should take that up with the other people who uh, post in the chat and say your reading last week came true for me that's why i say look it, the world doesn't revolve around you. This is a general reading. And if it doesn't happen for you, well, it may, eventually it will. But I don't know when that's going to happen for you. Um, I, I can't I can't bring you a person. I, I wish I could. I wish I, I wish I could just, if I could get into the business of, of creating people, which I kind of am already, but that was many years ago. But if I could get in the business of like just taking orders and creating people for you, I wouldn't do this anymore. I would just build you uh, the perfect human for yourself and ship them out to you. I really would. And I'd probably make a lot of money doing that. <laughs> or, or I'd be locked up in some insane asylum, um, like the, a mad scientist. But you guys, like, listen, take it with a grain of salt with these general readings. That's all I can tell you. Um, Otherwise, join my chat on Saturday, become a member, or you can pay Super Chat and get a personal question. I'll pull a card for you and answer that for you, okay? Now, I will say some of you, it may not be this weekend, but it may start brewing where the end of May, going into June, there's love on the table. Somebody's coming in around June as well to make some kind of amends, say they're sorry. Um, you might have caught them doing something. Um maybe lying or cheating or sneaking around um, or something along those lines or being dishonest and I feel like somebody comes in and you know they apologize and you're gonna have a decision whether to accept the apology and take them back and try to make something work um, 
or I mean, this person comes in like <clears throat> they might be drunk, <laughs> as Oris likes to say. There's the drunk driving as well. Um, somebody gets a DUI over the weekend as well, so be careful. Yeah, um, but they might come in like with a um, <laughs> they fess up. They're drinking and they fess up. They tell you exactly how they feel. They tell you what they want, what they want to have with you. All of that energy playing out over this weekend. Oh, y'all, you got a great weekend coming up. I can't believe I just said y'all. But yeah, you have like a lot of stuff happening over this weekend. So if I were you, I would go back and listen to it. Maybe write some stuff down so you can just be prepared. All right, you guys, so that's going to be your mini reading for the weekend, and I will be back here on Sunday to do your live stream Q&A, and um, just click the join button and become a member. Um, if not, uh, if I don't see you Sunday, I'll see you Sunday night with your um, singles reading. So you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you all back here very soon. All right, love you. Bye.